We're marching towards the weekend. It's Halloween. I'm going to dress up as Frank. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Harpo Marks. And this here is Frank, who's wearing an Irish sweater, but we're not going to talk about that. What we're going to talk about is the fact that it's still Halloween week. The week of Halloween. I can't believe how close you were. Not close. You were dead on yesterday with Willow Smith's age. Yeah. You know, when I saw that, I was kind of mad that I didn't get the exact 20. But you, she's going to be 21 on Sunday. Oh, no way. It was Halloween. Oh, I didn't even see that. It said, Willow Smith is 20 years old. She will. She was born on October 31st, um, the year 2000. Oh, wow. So you got it exactly. I was four days off. Yeah. Huh. Well, not even. I mean, I think if someone if someone turns that age in this week, you would say they were that age and not, yeah. you know. Well, how do you know that it was a coincidence and I'm not just obsessed with Willow Smith? I'm the big, what do you think her fans are called? You know, I didn't even know what you were talking about yesterday. And you said the Young Smith or something. Young Smith. I literally thought you were talking about a rapper. I wasn't hardly paying attention. I watched back the podcast. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, it was called the... Monday was one word Wednesday. Uh, Monday, lifetime. Wednesday was. Wednesday. Lifetime. Lifetime. Um, watch you watched it. it. Yeah, yeah. And I and I was like, Willow Smith, that's what he meant? Um, I like Willow Smith. She was, well, first of all. She just know. was in Philadelphia. She was. Um, hometown. Hometown hero. Well, was, I don't think they've ever spent time in No, I mean, she was singing. She was, she was doing a concert. I remember, I think one time, was this? This was Will Smith, right? And he was like driving his kids around Philadelphia. To show them where Probably. they came from. But if you're a true fan like me, you know, I'm, I'm a Willow head. She doesn't go by Willow Smith. What does she go by? She, Willow. Really? You know, Jaden Smith. He goes by Jaden Smith. Willow. Interesting. Oh, you hear that new Willow song? Because she can't just be the only Willow. I, I believe that's Pink's daughter's name. That was like her stage name. You know, uh, I know, but usually you have that name when no one else has the name. So like well, no, your share. Yeah, but no other singer has a name Willow. Like, I think it's bold for a 20-year-old to do that. I think it's a little... She, You know who she if looks... If someone said Willow, I would say Willow who? You know who she looks like? Weeping? To me? Who? Who is that person that you, we had a whole podcast about? Mm. The daughter or the wife? Zoe? Zoe. Um, Zoe um, Kravitz? Yeah. Does she have like the, the dreadlocks or yeah. that mom? Her mom. Her mom is... Well, her mom's older, but... Yeah. But yeah. it's like I feel like when I look at her picture, I'm like, what are you trying to be a Kravitz? Um, but Lisa Bonet. What was I saying? I yeah, I feel like it's just like an edgy. You know, she's Gen Z like me, and um, it's sort of like I'm good on my own, right? Like I don't need to add the Smith name. Yeah, they're to be. They're talented. they're they're quite the family. They're cuckoos. She looks just like her father. You know what's funny? What? She looks just like her father, and I feel like he looks just like does the mother. he? I never really look at him. Yeah, I look at him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, happy birthday, Willow. Happy birthday, Willow Smith. Smith. Um, Willow. Willow. Willow Pinkett Smith. Yeah. Um. But so it's Halloween weekend. Willow Pickett Pickett Smith's weekend, and um, yeah. The big story is the Japanese princess who has given up. Japan has princesses. Japan has a monarchy. Japan has royalty. Are you sure? I am. I thought they're a democracy. Ding is it like dong. English monarchy? I don't know. But the the princess married a commoner, lost her princess title. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so that's how they do, they roll. Yeah. They they don't want any kind of uh any kind of uh what's this lady named in England? Or she's Meghan Markle. A, they don't want any kind of Meghan Markle nonsense. Yeah. Good for them. Um not good for I mean wait, let me I'll explain that. Good one for in a who? Second. Yeah, who are you saying good for? Because it's a real love story. Um, she gave up and, and, it, and it took her two years because there was so much backlash and hatred. Mm. She literally has PTSD from it. Ooh. She's literally leaving Japan because of it. They're going to rent a one bedroom apartment in New York City. He's a lawyer. He passed the bar, I think, in July. And she's not getting any money from the family? She's not getting any money. If you leave the family, you get a, over a million dollars, a goodbye gift. She refused it because of the amount of hatred oh. she has gotten for loosening the the um the foundation of the Japanese royal family. So not good for them. 
What do you think? I don't know. So when I said good for them, here's what I mean by it is what I can assume from the Japanese, from what I know about the culture, I'm pretty sure they have a democracy. Okay. So if they do have a monarchy, I imagine it's like England's where it's more just like, it's just there. Yeah, I don't know. But if that's the case, then you're holding on to tradition, you you know, why? Because like, the like, emperor yes. of Japan. So he has a prince as a son and a princess. Okay. As, so, so it's not a king, it's emperor. So here's my thing about it, right? Look at, Let's look at England because we all know England more than we know Japan. Right. They have their monarchy. It's not real. They have the parliament and everything that actually makes the rules. No, they. I heard that they have somewhat... They do have some... A little poll. Yeah. And so does, you know, the uh, Jeff Bezos. Anyone who is powerful enough and has enough money has pull in the government. No, I think, he, I think she has to day. put her green stamp on it or something. Oh. Well, all I'm saying is this. Mm. There is no more monarchies in, 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 the, in, the, in these first world countries. So let them have their traditions. Like, the Japanese, I know, are very cultural. Yeah. Stick to your traditions, ancest- ancestors and all that. So... When they already know the monarchy is not going to be around forever, it is dying. It's the twenty first century. Well, they don't want it to die, and that's why she got so much hatred. No, that's what I'm saying. No, I don't. I don't agree with the hatred. But do you agree with the rules or rules? Like, hey, you can leave and marry this guy. But they didn't want her to leave because uh, now they lost a princess. Yeah, I disagree with that. She well, he should be so complimented because yeah, the the. The the um statement she put out in the press. He's Japanese as well. Yeah, the statement she put out in the press is so compliment. Like so, she said, "I only I only have one life, mm-hmm. and I can't imagine him not in it. He's such a good person." You know, and you know what else? This opened up for a very good love story. Oh yeah. How great is the love? St- see what see what happens when uh when Harry and Meghan came. It, it, it became a, a huge mess. Right. Everyone's angry at every side. Now if. The the queen said, you need to marry the the princess of America. You can't marry just an actress. And he said, well, I'm in love with Meghan. Okay. And then he he went and left. I guess that is what he kind of did. Yeah, I don't know where you're going with this. I don't know either. I'm just trying what, to play what, devil's advocate. What, I know. But what was different about the English situation than this situation? He didn't He didn't lose his princehood. I think no. that's what the problem was. So Japan is more defined, right? And it says you can marry a commoner. If you do, you become a commoner. Yeah. You lose your prince. Yes. You're, you're not a princess and you, ha- and you have to get out of the thing. With, with Harry, you can marry a commoner. You remain a prince. And that's why, because of this in-between world, Megan was so insulted because she said, well, why isn't my son a prince? And why, yeah. why, don't, why don't I have security? Yeah. And why aren't I treated like a princess? Why are not yet? So, so that's what that's all I'm saying. I'm not agreeing with either side. What I'm saying is, I think it's a lot. Besides the hatred, mm-hmm. I think it's a lot cleaner. Yes. when you have set rules. Yes, I am. A, I'm a rule based guy. Yes, but so and I'm and I'm a, and I'm a sucker for a love story and running out of your kingdom for the one you love. I know is, is awesome. Yeah, it was and it was it was um you know, Prince uh, Prince Harry and Meghan had that huge cathedral wedding in a white dress. This was. Literally, like mm-hmm. she was in, they were in regular that's, clothes. That's the other thing. Street. Uh, uh, street Meghan Markle. I don't know. Um, I just found out that you know she she like talks about her childhood and how she grew up rougher than others. Mm-hmm. She went to like a twenty thousand dollar a year boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> she went to a twenty thousand dollar year boarding school. Do you know how much the university that um. This pr- this Japanese princess went to how much it costs? How much this Japanese princess board? Uh, okay, is it in yen or is it in dollars? Oh, I d- I think it's in dollars. Okay, I'm gonna say it was fifty thousand dollars a year. No, well, I can't find it, but it's <laughs> it's um it's like a million dollars or something. Oh my god, it's crazy. But it's the it's the International Christian University. Back to Megan. In Japan. Back to Megan. Go back to Megan. It. A little bit seemed like am I am I um, biased to the situation because I think Megan was looking for her, Harry more than she was looking for love, mm. and we hey, that's not that's not me saying it. We we saw the interviews where she went to England asking reporters, right? Who's the most powerful guys in England? Whatever, Megan. I don't know you. You're probably great. 
it felt like she went in. Mm-hmm. She said, Harry, we're leaving. You know? Right. And then he said, well, yeah, I love you. So whatever you say, we'll do. I'm a sucker for a love story. That doesn't make for a good love story. What makes for a good love story is the the man's outside and the gatekeepers are like, you're not even coming in. Right. And then she, on her own accord, says, I'm going to leave with him. Right. Without saying, it wasn't him saying, hey, they're treating me bad for being a common or a Japanese person. Right. Come with me and we'll leave. And she yeah. said, okay. No. He said, he probably was like, it's okay. Go on without me. And she said, no. Yeah. She said, let's stick it to these these <laughs> these emperors. Let's yeah. stick it to the emperor. No, not stick it. I think she loves her family. She just didn't. We. I love the emperor, but I love you. Right. So did the emperor is feeling strongly about holding together what he needs to hold together. And she's going to respect that. And she's going to say, well, I'm going to go this way. The reason I find that this is the true, lo- not a true love story, but the reason that people will attach to it in a very romantic way is that they're ending up in a one bedroom rented apartment yes. in New York city. Whereas Megan and Harry ended up in what's this man's name who does um, all the comedies. Um, oh my gosh. I can't remember his name friend of oprah anyway his huge mansion mm. until they had their own huge mansion um yeah tyler, yeah. Perry. tyler perry um you know it, you know what i'm saying like it, it showed like it's such a true sacrifice with it where megan and harry wasn't really a sacrifice he's still out in the in, they're both she was already a millionaire in the kingdom you know? they're having a hollywood yeah. royalty and they're having english royalty yeah. this is is that they should make a she movie. She didn't even take the one. One million is not a lot, by the way. I mean, it is if it's your if it's your college um tuition. No, I'm saying what I'm saying the goodbye gift. They were only awesome. giving her one million dollars, especially you know, for the lifestyle she has. Like for you and me, it'd be life changing. But right. for when when it's like from going to what she's lived, right. one million. She but buys she, she buys a, a house that's ten times smaller. She refused it too. She so. refused it. So and he's just he's just going to be a, a good, honest lawyer in a country a that's not his. I know. They should make a movie. We should make a movie about this. We should. Can I play him? And I'll play her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that um, the the that Japan had a ban on Christianity? I feel like I heard that. I didn't. Yeah, I feel like I, I've known. I knew that at one point. Um, um, it was lifted in 1873, and some hidden Christians joined the Catholic Church, and others opted to maintain. Um, the faith of their ancestors but yeah i've always wanted to go to japan yeah japan is very interesting um so but but christianity even with that said it, the ban was lifted it's still extreme minority yeah in japan i'm pretty sure religion is is not big in japan um they are shinto yeah but are they as a majority I remember I was watching a thing about really like an interviewer interviewing people on the streets about religion in Japan. Could I be wrong? They're yeah. Shinto or Buddhist, and we just saw a Buddhist monk walking down. Well, we didn't, but you did. I heard about it. People I was with in this neighborhood, uh, we just he just is walking down um, a road with no sidewalks down the center of not the center because that would be interesting. He was walking out of traffic. Did you uh, take a picture? No, I was driving. Mm. Shinto. If you're interested. I am interested. Okay. It believes in the kami. K-A-M-I. Probably saying it wrong. Kamai. I don't know. A divine power that can be found in all things. Oh. Shinto is polytheistic. Spencer, what's that mean? That means when you believe in multiple gods. Okay. And um, animist, animistic, since it sees things like animals and natural objects objects as deities Mm. and also unlike many religions there has been no push to convert others to shinto Mm. so they're okay if you seems like a very general uh, religion well maybe that's why you said they don't seem very religious it seems like you know they gave a religion to like just spiritual yeah not i don't mean to do this for any type of reason (laughs) spiritual um yeah so that's the big news today. Actually, it might have been yesterday, but I that don't know. Big news. It came up on my thing. Um, I'm going to look into the story. To go to New York, to live, and to... Maybe we can go see them. They'll only be two hours away. They're very quiet people. I'm guessing they wouldn't be waving from the balcony or anything. We'll knock on their door. No, we will not do that. We can get them. Give me they our just first... want to be nice, simple, quiet folk. That's what we are. They can come on the <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Well, they're... 
no one's going to have any want for jobs between the two of them. Who wouldn't hire them? What will she be hired as? I don't know. Anything. TED Talks. I don't know. Yeah. Like, such a, such a amazing... She should, she should, they should, what they should do, they, what they should have done is take the million dollars and made a movie about themselves. And then the movie would be about them having that love story, going to New York and then making a movie. And it'll no, be like a that's paradox. That's not the way Japanese people are. They're so reserved and respectful. And, and, and literally when she's, you know, what I read the very briefly that she has PTSD about it, I think it's because it wasn't an easy decision. It, obvi- yeah. I mean, it sounds really like she was so conflicted because she yeah. could not give up this love and it's like the they could not allow her to have him. It's like the Amish. Yeah. You choose to, when you're Amish, if you choose to not live the Amish way, right. you get excommunicado. Yeah, shunned. Shunned. They don't talk to you anymore. No. It's awful. It's an awful position to be in. Not, it's awful to be in that position. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying, like, who am I to judge the practices right. and the traditions? Right. But as for someone who's going through it, my empathy goes out towards them because when you have to choose your passion and your family, mm-hmm. it's not an easy position to be in. But the whole world's your family, so. Whoa. Whole world's your, <laughs> world's your family. Whole world's your family. And so therefore, she just is going to be living with other family right now. Yes. The New York family. Yeah. And we are marching towards the weekend. We're marching towards the weekend. It's Halloween. I'm going to dress up as Frank. And he's going to dress up as me. Yeah, we're going to the weekend, but it's not the weekend yet. That'll be tomorrow. This is Wait. the most Halloween weekend that you can get. When Halloween falls on a Sunday, Yeah, you get Friday, like, legitimately. You always do, but I mean, like, legitimately Friday, legitimately Saturday. Yeah, I remember a few, like... And Sunday. When was it last year? It was like on a Wednesday. No, it's like, Spencer. The days just go one off it each was a year. Leap year. No, it wasn't. Was it? Today's Friday. I mean, this okay. this week is on a Sunday. Last week it was on a Saturday. If I don't anything, think so. Spencer, that's how that's how years work. I don't think so. It's either it was either on a Friday or a Saturday. Are you sure? Spencer. I would normally wait till I had on my phone on me. Ha ha. That's what you get for keeping your phone out. And I had it open to a page I wanted. Yeah, you use a different phone. Oh wait, I'll just open a new tab. I probably don't have any left. Oh, wait, that's a photo. It's not on Google. Oh, my gosh. I think I have 500 okay, tabs. Okay, Halloween. <laughs> I think I have 500 tabs open. 2020. Saturday, I bet. Moving on. It is Walk Saturday. Through Thursday, guys. So roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Because Walk Through Wednesday just begun. Hello, everybody. It is Walk Through Thursday. Do you know what that means? What it means is we're going to open up the Bible. Bible is open. And we're going to pick a verse or a part or a paragraph. I don't know. And we'll break it down. You know, it's important sometimes to try to find the deeper meaning of these Bible verses. Yes. And not just read them for face value. And that's what we do today. Um, yeah, break it down, slow it down, sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter. And um, we just have fun with it. Did um, Jesus have a brother? Uh, that's controversial, is right? what you're saying right now. It's confusing. But no, biblically, no, historically, We're going to read something from James. Maybe. <laughs> Same one. Um, well, he definitely didn't have like a... So we're reading from James. Biological brother. When I looked up the epistle of James, it would be a half brother. Because I always want to know, I always want to know who wrote this, or you know, yeah, um, so forth. Yesterday we talked about a psalm, um, about lifetime. Yeah, and you were like, I bet it's David, and it was David. It was the last one that David wrote. I think that was one forty-five. But um, when I looked it up, it says the epistle is traditionally attributed to James, the brother of Jesus, James the Just. And the audience is generally considered to be Jewish, Jewish Christians who were dispersed outside Israel. Does that mean Jesus Christ? You're making me nervous. I don't know. I don't look think it up. So. We'll look it up I, later. I, I, it's, it's Wikipedia. Oh, Wikipedia. I don't think you don't have so. your phone, so you're going to have to use mine. Yeah, um, why not? And there's you, and there's me. So we are reading James, the brother of somebody, three thirteen to fourteen. 
Yeah. Two kinds of wisdom. I like when they give. Um, so I think the new international version. Uh, you get the top of every page. They give like a title. Okay. Even when a title was not given. Right. So this says two kinds of wisdom. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts. Oh, I hate when I do a new line and I use it as a comma. I don't I don't mind. Um, it punches the words for me. I'm going to start 14 over again. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Why would you boast about being bitter and selfish? I'm going to be honest. Um, I didn't mentally read any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I read it all out loud and I was focused on my pronunciation. You know what? That happens a lot. Yeah. You know, but I, even when you're when not reading out loud. No, I read the mm. Bible and it's funny. A lot of books, I'll just like let it slide. And I'm like, ah, it's textbooks especially. But the Bible, I'd always like kick because I'd read it every morning. And when I would do it, I would like kick myself because i'm like okay just keep reading it's like no you have to go back and read it again and um i would read it again i also lost what you sent me was it a photo it's a text to you to oh that's why okay so let's why don't we walk through it and that way i'll read each sentence (laughs) for the first time yeah who is wise and understanding among you let them show it wait how much am i reading you could just do the first question. Who is wise and understanding among you? Okay, so if you um if you're talking to an audience, you know, uh, uh, what's it called when you're in school? You go to the auditorium. Yeah. You know, and and uh, you ask, who is wise and understanding among you? Uh, how are we going to figure this out, right? So would would people raise their hand like I'm wise or I'm understanding? Or would someone or, point to someone else? He's this one. So it's it's just it's just posing the question. Yeah, and I think in a way it's not asking for someone for to, to uh, answer. What is it? Not rhetorical, but yeah, it's just... Yeah, and, and, and that kind of... Yeah. Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. That was a big chunk, I know, but I think no, it's all important it, together. No, fine, yeah. So, so it, it tells you the, how to answer yes, the first so, question. So the, the first question is rhetorical. Okay. Who is wise and understanding among you? And... And then I'm thinking, if, is it me? Yeah, if you're about if you're about to raise your hand and yeah. say, I am, and I'm gonna tell you why, it's saying put the brakes on it. Let them show it. Don't talk that's the okay. definition of don't talk about it, be about it. Okay. By their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Interesting. Now what does humility mean? Humility is when you're humble. So you're not um you're not bragging, you're not oh. you're not advertising that Look, so, I, got, I got an award for being the smartest person in my grade, or I got, um, I got my a lifetime achievement so, award. So I, I like this. This is what we always talk about. Mm-hmm. Of a true Christian is action, not right, words. Right. It's not. I'm a Christian. You know, I love Jesus, and I'm gonna live my life. It's it, it's shh, shh, just you shut your mouth. <laughs> Show it by your your deeds, or your good life by deeds. And then I like the last one especially. It's like. But done in the humility that comes from wisdom. So it's don't do it like every oh, we make sure everyone sees you. Right. Put on Instagram, good deed of the day, and it's like do it, and that comes from wisdom. That right. that comes from a, a, a understanding that those deeds are not for other people. If you have, if you are a wise person, you then realize you don't need to broadcast how yes. smart you are. You know what I mean? But if you're not a wise person, you think I have to convince everybody how smart I am. Yes. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not do not boast about it or deny the truth. But who would do that? I can see denying the truth. Okay, well, let's let's, let's walk through the beginning. Okay. But if you harbor bitter envy, so bitter envy is when you you are jealous, jealous. Mm-hmm. and and so you're looking and i'm saying look at that person driving that nice car i should have that car and selfish ambition that is you know the opposite of good, generosity good, de- good deeds done in humility right where it's like you know i know how to get that car right i'm gonna do it by stepping on the heads of all these other right. people yeah and like 
you know, we could be ambitious for Croak and Crow and our, and our ambition could be that we want to make it as big and bring as many people in and, and, you know, make appearances all to spread the word of God and to make people feel happy and peaceful. But if you had like, if I was over here harboring a selfish ambition, like I want to be a star, like I'm, how much money can I get from this? How much will people recognize me? You know, it's ambition, but it's for selfish purposes. Yeah. Do not. All right. We're going to spend a little time on this last part. Do not boast about it or deny the truth. Okay. So I can see deny the truth, right? If you said to me, you know what? You're only here because you just want to be famous. I would be like, no, I'm not. I could see that. Of course, you would deny the truth. Yeah. But why would anyone boast about, uh, phew, you know, uh, what was the first one? Um, bitter envy. Harbor, bitter yeah, like, envy. Oh, like, how can you boast about being jealous? I guess just you can boast about it. You can, and and uh, uh, let's like boast. That sounds on the surface level like exclaim. I'm jealous of yes. that man, but in a way, boast is just to speak out, right? So, mm-hmm. um, when you're when you're it's, it's, it's harbor in your heart, you know, like you can work on that yourself. But when you start, you're sitting at a table. And you ever see? And you'll be like, "Look at that guy with all that money. He doesn't deserve that." Like you're putting it out. You're right. You're putting it out into the universe that, right. that negative energy. And then the person, you know, Frank here, will be like, "Yeah, you know, what? he doesn't oh, deserve like that." Like you're spreading it. Yeah, and and so you're you're boasting. A, That's true. Because um, I, I think a lot of times we need to remember that we have thoughts. Yes. I, 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 I like. I, <laughs> I forget sometimes. Um, no. Intrusive thoughts are a thing. Like, if you beat yourself up over thoughts, that's that's meaningless. Right. It's um, it's about the action. Like, you don't... If, if you've never gone through temptation, then you've never shown that you can fight temptation. Right. So, when a kid my age drives uh, past me in a, uh, in a Audi R8... Or, like, a, like, a, like a nice skateboard yeah <laughs> then the first thing that might pop into my head out of impulse and just and earthly tendencies mm-hmm. i might be like look at this guy he doesn't deserve that i deserve that and then it's i i can then say no spencer and i can bring myself off the ledge right it's like a, a road rage when you're about right. to honk and then you're like i don't know like let me just relax right but when you start um boasting about it when when you start no you know what you're you're like almost defending the, you're right you're defending the feeling and the feelings i'm the feeling is meant to be attacked and say no you're not a true feeling right i'm you're just an earthly thought and as soon as you boast about it you put right. it out there like and you're normalizing you it. normalize it so it you th- thank you because you you have made me realize that how this can be possible and it's i can see it for both envious and um the selfish ambition yeah. because if if um if you say like oh like I just want it all for me get all I can get you know I'll then think like hmm, that's not so you know yeah. like it's not now my thoughts that I thought were bad yeah and I'll say bad whatever it's unwanted I think no he's right you get for you I'm gonna get for yeah, me yeah forget exactly. him yeah. you know and you are spreading it you're normalizing it you're you're making I'm not so bad because other people do it and then then I'm going to do it and other people, you know, so, and we're, we are spreading. Um, it's okay to be jealous of people. It's okay to be um, selfish. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also deny the truth, which is. No, what are the, okay. So. Um, well, don't deny the do truth. Do not boast about it and, or deny the, do not deny the truth. Right. So, so if, if it's brought to your attention, you know. Um, you're harboring bitter envy in your heart and you say no i'm not actually because i don't want what he has yes you're, yes no, okay are you tricking me uh, you tricking yeah yourself? no 100 percent. um the biggest thing i think in these situations of of these kinds of things and it comes that's that is that wisdom the wisdom earlier that we looked at is knowing what's going on knowing like your yourself and your thoughts 
And as soon as you deny it, that's not a wise person. Right, right. You're you're wrong. Oh, right. Who is wise among you? Yeah. You're wrong. This isn't selfish ambition. I care about people. It's like you need to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. And even if you go back to like, I think that's why it says deeds done in humility that come from wisdom. Right. If if your your deeds were done without that wisdom of humility, it could still be for you, right? Like it could be selfish. And it's like, no, I fed homeless people. Right. And it's like that wisdom. Right comes through you to be honest with yourself and once you can be honest with yourself you know the the good things you're doing are just are just for the sake of being good and the bad things are through the sake of being bad so wisdom and understanding i think that makes an appearance a lot yeah um throughout the bible and it's the thing you want to be praying for over over all else all else and um if you think if you think you knew now you know (laughs) if you think you knew now you know (laughs) And that's it for Walk Through Thursday, guys. But check out James. Um, fact check us because I don't think he's Jesus' brother, but you do. Never heard that before. But anyway. Yes, it is controversial, isn't it? We'll be back for uh, Fun Friday. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, the Halloween Friday. Right. Are Tune gonna, in to see our costumes. Yeah, we're going to have to dress up. Yeah, of course. Oh, tomorrow's our Halloween special, guys. <laughs> Get excited. Last year, I was a graduate. And I was a referee. Okay. But we'll see you then. Dress up with us. Peace.